What is happening, guys? Cowboy here. Welcome back to Tales of Asperia. Let's continue on. How to get to that thing. I don't think... Maybe we just don't fight that yet. Anyway. Go find ourselves the Egg Bear. Let's work together. Alright, get over there. There. <laughs> They are not happy about our healing. Smart monsters. We finished them off. Yeah, we did. Good job. Let's try this way. There's a no. It's still just a dead end. Hmm. Where are you at, Egg Bear? Come to me. Oh, there we go. Be on your guard, everyone. It's really ferocious. <laughs> Why is he whispering? Hey, fearless leader. You're not supposed to hide right after saying things like that. The star always performs the finishing blow. Everybody knows that. No, I don't think so. Oh, he's a big boy. That's an egg bear? Well, I have to hand it to you, Captain Carol. Operation Stink Bomb was a smashing success. Hey, don't go giving my plan weird names. Stand up straight when you say stuff like that. Such a sassy bitch. Let's get this over with. I hope you guys enjoyed just how sarcastic he is, because it only gets better. <laughs> He's basically just a sarcastic dick for the entirety of this game. Which is one of the reasons I love him as a protagonist. Ooh, oh, oh, holy shit! So you might notice this little timer that pops up when I'm about to use an item. We have Somebody to use else items carefully. Oh, stop spamming the orange chip. Uh, there is a cooldown on items across your entire party, basically to ensure that you don't just spam shit. And wow, 8239, oh man. Alright, well, let's get spamming, boys. Damn, that hurt. I'm glad we're still alive. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> You'll notice I'm also going behind to hit him. Not because I get like a critical bonus or anything like that, but more just because if he's looking at me, he's not looking at Carol and repeat. No, just changing your direction to cause more lockdown. Now, one thing I can't remember. I know there's a way... Hmm. Might be a setting, but I know there's a way to basically... Ooh, hang on a second. Maybe that's it. I go press down? No. Oh, there's a way to, like, check the monster again and see? see? Oh, well, you see dead. what I did? That was nothing. Mm -hmm. Repeat help, too. Thanks. There's a way to, to like, basically... Yeah back up their health bar to see how close you are to killing them, but I can't remember it. I just keep getting stronger! Carol, come get the claw. I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Anybody can do that. It just comes right off. Here, let me help too. Ugh. Estelle, why don't you guard the perimeter? R right. Y you sure it's totally dead, right? I'm gonna say he like scares him or something here. Yeah, he does. Yeah, <laughs> he does. <laughs> wow, Captain. If I didn't know you were just goofing around, I'd swear you were really scared. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, huh? Egg Bear Claw. How's the nose repeat? Now 
all we need is the Laluria petal, right? Let's go pay the mayor another visit. So much like I'm trying to think back about like the things I loved about it, and I remember uh, just Yuri's sarcastic non-stop quips was one of the big things um, in the combat, obviously. But the combat music—it's been so long since I've heard it, and now that I'm listening to it, it kind of reminds me of like Dynasty Warriors three. You know, like the the older Dynasty Warriors games just had like guitar riffs basically for their music, and they were awesome. That's kind of what we have with this too. Like, you can't go wrong with just somebody jamming it on a guitar. Yo! Outside the barrier? Uh, what? Who followed you? Uh, just some guys from the Imperial Knights. <laughs> yeah, right. The Knights are chasing their own former member. No, oh, like they, they actually are. Wait, seriously? Uh, I say, come out now, will you? Show yourself now and we'll, we'll spare you a pummeling. Shaking in your boots at mere rumors. And you call yourselves Knights of the Schwan Brigade! So, what are they after you for? Vandalism? Fraud? Smuggling? Robbery? Murder? Arson? Uh, it's really just for jailbreak. Anyway, let's bolt. <laughs> I like how Estelle never questions why he was in jail to go. begin with. We can't do that. It'll get in the way of other people passing through. Who's gonna be passing through? These woods are cursed, remember? Goodies. Yeah. Lady, where's the mayor at? This is the mayor's place, right? Mayor? Sir, you wouldn't happen to have any Laloria petals, would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but. So that's why you need a petal. The Leluria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal, but if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. Yeah, no shit. Without it, you're not gonna have a tree. All right, now we can make a panacea bottle. Let's go to the general store. You're back. Have you gotten all the ingredients together? We've got everything. 
Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Lelluria petals. That's everything. <laughs> All right, let's get this stuff made. Yes, please. There you go, one panacea bottle. Now we'll be able to cleanse the poison. Let's go, quickly. Whoa, whoa, settle down. You'll drop the bottle if you're not careful. Oh, I see. Well then, let's go, prudently. Have you made the antidote to cleanse the tree of poison? Carol, it's up to you. I'm no good at this sort of thing. Who, me? Okay then, here goes. Didn't Carol say there was someone he wanted to show the blossoms of Halor to? I think so. Here's hoping we aren't too late. The tree is... Please, great tree of Halur, restore the fallen barrier. Please. No way! Was the dosage too small? Or maybe this isn't the right way. We'll have to get another panacea bottle. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. That was the last of the Luluria petals. But, but we tried so hard. Yeah, and sometimes that's just how things work out, little girl. Please, great tree. Estelle. Amazing! Can this be? Is she using healing arts? It's like a dream. There's no way. And yet... <sighs> yay, yay! <laughs> You're the greatest! Thanks for making the Tree of Halur healthy again! We owe you our gratitude. Thanks to this, our city can live once more. Well, what did I just... That was incredible, Estelle. Can you get up? Yuri! Flynn's gonna be so surprised to see the flowers blooming. <laughs> That'll show him. You and Flynn seem to have such a strange relationship. You are friends, aren't you? He's just someone I grew up with, that's all. Um. Aren't those the people from the castle? We can't let these people get caught up in this. Let's lay low for a while. Huh? What did I miss? Where are you guys going? <sighs> Do you mind if I scratch behind your ears? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess it's still too soon for me to pet you. Let's start over by getting to know each other a little better. So then, my name is Estelise. You knew that already, right? <laughs> Left. Huh? 
Repeat? Introducing yourself to an invisible friend? Oh, I won't give up. Man, those guys are a pain in the neck. Wish we could wait here for Flynn to come back. Who's this Flynn person? He's an Imperial Knight that Estelle's got a crush on. What? I don't have a crush on him. You don't? Oh, I get it. You two are already a thing, then. <laughs> no, it's not like that at all. Well, anyway, we'd best be getting away from the town. Yes, you're right. Wouldn't want to cause trouble for the villagers. Do you know where this Flynn guy went off to? You could follow after him. Didn't they say he'd gone off to the east? Yes, they did. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Please wait. You deserve a reward for restoring our tree. Please stop by at my house. Oh, please don't mind. I will be waiting at my house. Please come. Uh, wait! A reward? What do you say? Well, I guess we can't ignore his offer and leave. I wasn't really sure what I did back there. I don't think I deserve anything. Let's just stop at the mayor's house. We can still decline his offer there. <clears throat> Check with this guy, see if there's... Uh... Have any new weapons? And X cover and evade. So we need that. Have that. You all for critical for sure. Buffy hat must have for cold weather. I don't think I want to spend my gold on three of those things. There's more stuff I could buy, but I feel like, um, I want to say I find a lot of this stuff just in chests as I travel. I'm just getting stuff for Yuri, because obviously if MC goes down, we're in trouble. Welcome, welcome. Here, make yourself at home. Thank you, but unfortunately we need to be leaving very soon. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The well, situation's changed a bit. Did something come up? You could say that. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask you for your help. I see. Then it's not much, but I'd at least like you to take this. Oh, me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped us out so much... Well then, I'd be happy to... No, we can't take that. Oh... Um, yeah, I, I guess I can't take that. But then how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom Viewing Picnic Seats. That's a great idea. I can't wait. All right, then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Ospio? Ospio? Ah, yes, I believe that was the name of the City of Shade. The City of Shade? From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town to get supplies. But they're quite creepy, to be honest. Our town doesn't deal with them much. 
Where is the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the exact location. Flynn was headed east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I suppose a city of scholars might have some link to Blastia after all. Thanks. That's all I needed. I'm coming for you, Mortio. This may be a selfish thing to say, but... I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> So, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tolbikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. <laughs> On second thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. And with the tree healed to east we go. I don't think we can cross that yet. If I remember, I want to say that's a uh, ability you get later to like smash rocks to cross key pieces of the game. Up there. Stonehenge looking thing. Wait, oh, there's the caves. That's Ospio, probably. Let's, uh. Be a little side trip into the caves wouldn't hurt. No, wait, is this the city? No. Can't be it. It's supposed to be sandwiched between mountains, not inside the mountain. It looks like this is Ospio. Okay, never mind. I'll take back what I said. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. Here we always throw in shade. Yes. Oh, Chef Man. Recipe. Salisbury steak. Whoa! <laughs> All right. Well, considering we just reached Ospio, let's go ahead and wrap things up here. Uh, be good to tackle Ospio as its own episode. So, make sure to stay tuned. We will mosey on farther into Ospio later today, and I'll see you guys all then.